Not eager to get into a fight with mutants, huh? I guess I can't go. <clears throat> Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Excuse me. Everything outside the wall ain't safe. That's just how it is. Open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, 
just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the Broken. scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Damn it, Danny. Open up! You. You want into Diamond City, right? No, not really. Shh. Play along. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. I don't take orders from you. Whoa, take it easy, yikes. You, uh, come along whenever you're ready. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. That a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the <coughs> press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Newspapers just like to stir up trouble. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? <laughs> Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Mayor McDonough? Enjoy your stay in Diamond City. Now, excuse me. newcomers if the institute grabs you in the night at 
least we warned you. A free paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. <laughs> you should read up if you're sticking around. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that before. Piper, you're back! Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Ah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Now I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Watch your back. This zoo could be right behind you. Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads? They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes they get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Crush some mentats in you your coffee in the morning, it'll help loosen the language centers in your brain. Lower Weird up. stuff? Weirder than two headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. I've got a few minutes to browse. As fresh as it can be. And I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. <laughs> Don't mean nothing. Hmm. The latest hairstyles from the upper stand. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? You don't have cures for... Chem addiction, do you? We can sober you up. Please, 
Don't be an idiot and go out drinking immediately after the procedure. <laughs> Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Hurting all over, Doc. Scrapes and bruises. But it's probably a good idea to get them fixed up. That's that. Anything else bothering you? Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. Blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Feel better now that I'm cleaned up. Glad to hear it. Anything else? That was it. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Doctor? We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. I need some supplies, Doctor. All right, but go easy on the chems. Let's get you examined right away. Time is not on the side of the surgeon. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Uh, let's see what I can spare. Genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. I've got a few minutes to browse. The genuine articles. It's the new guy. No That's you, right? The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. I'll take a look, sure. Everything hand tool.
of trade for all Diamond City right here. Swanus, right here. Let's go. Bash is in the Commonwealth. theater district that's for raiders only the combat zone i'd stay clear if i was you need some custom hardware we got a free workbench for all the modifications the super salon can give you the hairstyle of your dream everyone who's anyone reads public occurrences Got nothing better to do? Nah. Selling papers is busy work, <coughs> mister. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. So. Today's been great. Interesting you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. <coughs> Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me?
Piper. You ready for that interview now, Blue? What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? <laughs> Why is that important? I'm here now, aren't I? I told you, this is a perspective piece. People in Diamond City need to know you're from a different world than them. So, what was the vault like? It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. <laughs> now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? Hey, Piper. You ready for that interview now, Blue? What kind of interview is this? I ask you who you are. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. So, I know you're from a vault. It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So, you've <laughs> seen the Commonwealth. I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, if that's the quote, that's the quote. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? Why do you care? This is news. No one else in Diamond City may care about the missing, but my paper does. I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? <laughs> you heard wrong. I'm not looking for anyone. Don't lie to me, Blue. This is your story. Don't you want people to know the truth? I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. <coughs> no one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University <coughs> Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old-fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. 
I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Hey. What you got for me? Help yourself. Anything I can do? You just say the word. It's big, loud. Don't move, Sim. Polly. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my Excuse me. I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's Mo? sakes, we're family! Hey, Arturo. Keep your head down. Put the gun down. Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Sims in Diamond City. You hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. <laughs> hey, who hasn't engaged in a little friendly attempted fratricide and gawk? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told them. I, I kept telling them. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh, I need a minute. Nice shot. But I'm gonna have to ask you to step back. Got a mess to clean up. There a problem, officer? Oh, don't even start with me. I got a dead body in the middle of the damn street. Now follow orders and get out of here. Oh my God. God. Hey, John. Uh, hey. Uh, come back later. Doc. Uh, 
Hey there. Hey there. Arturo. Mo? Go back to your own damn business. Hey, Solomon. Got Kim's right here for you, brother. I'll take a look, sure. Kim's for a balanced lifestyle. Something's out there. 